Hello everyone, Prince Charmin here. Welcome to episode 2 of our Pokemon Fire Red randomized Let's Play. Uh, in the last episode, you guys, we got things started off. We got our starter and we got our first party member after a first failed attempt. <laughs> but let's go ahead. Let's do a quick party recap. Uh, we have Ares, who is our starter, Ares the Magmar. And we got Seabiscuit the Lapras, or no, no, Seabiscut. <laughs> who we got on um, Route 22, who is our second encounter. Uh, wow, Shell Armor blocks critical hits. That's a really good ability. And uh, Lapras has Water Gun, Growl, and Sing, which might come in handy because Sing, although it has booty accuracy, it, um, it can put Pokemon to sleep and make them a lot easier to catch. So what we're going to do, guys, um, I want to get another encounter, but then I don't. Uh, it's really hard to maintain a well-balanced team uh, early on in the game. So right now, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to see if we can quickly... Um, Level up Lapras and um, Lapras and Ares. See Biscuit. I'm sorry. I got We gotta stick with the nickname, guys. Stick with the nicknames. Uh, let's see if we can level them up, and um, that way we can go kick some gym leader butt. Wow, that did a lot. Oh, that's right. He used Tail Whip. <gasps> it has a berry. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness. Ah. Okay. We gotta switch out. We gotta switch out. We gotta switch out. I did not realize that Linoon had a headbutt. Okay, so... Come back, see Biscuit. I don't want you to die. That would be so... That would be awful if we lost... If we lost Sea Biscuit. Sea Bus Biscuit. Oh my goodness, I really wish we could change the name already. Sea Biscuit after just getting him in the first episode. Okay, so we got those two. Uh, we're going to have to go back. So, you know what? I'm going to be using the speed up button because nobody likes seeing random grinding battles that's really boring so let's go ahead and we want to get as much as done as we can in today's episode if anything I want to see if we can start making our way through Viridian Forest I know we probably might not make it all the way through but it's worth a shot let's see can we run into that Moltres a pile of swine or pillow swine no it's a pile of swine because there's no two there's no there's there isn't two L's let's go ahead water gun come on see Biscuit knock it out oh that's not bad nice damage powder snow don't freeze. Alright, no freeze. Sweet! See this cut? Alright, gain those levels. Gain that experience. Level 4. Sweet! So this first route isn't too bad to train. Wow, almost level 5. This first route isn't too bad to train on. We have, let's see, there was Moltres, there was Piloswine. <gasps> Whoopah! There's, we got a Whooper here. Oh, I don't know what Whooper's uh, ability is. Oh, it's water absorb. Okay, we can't do anything to this whooper. So we're going to go ahead and just... We're going to run away. Because um, I don't want to send him out. Send Magmar out. I know Magmar can probably take it, but I don't want to be going back and forth between the Pokemon Center to heal up. So let's see. Maybe we can run into another Moltres. Moltres? Moltres? <sighs> another whooper. Okay, come on. Don't be doing this to me. We're here to make progress. All right, Palace Wine, that's good. Maybe we can get up to level six in one battle. I mean, we practically got up to level five. So we use Water Gun. Come on, Powder Snow. Let's go, let's go, Sea Biscuit. It's not very effective because one, I'm an Ice type. Two, I'm a Water type. So Sea Biscuit is actually, I'm so glad we got this Pokemon. I was, I was uh, kind of afraid we weren't going to be able to get it. So see, Biscuit grew to level 5. Oh, never mind. I guess it's just one level at a time. I mean, it's not bad. Um, usually it takes multiple battles to get up to... Ugh, Whooper, why? Get out of my game. Unless uh, see, Biscuit wants to learn, like, Body Slam or something. That would be that would be actually really good. So let's see. Come on. A Linoon. Okay. Mm, mm, you're level 5 now, but I don't, I, I don't want to risk it. Let's go ahead. We'll switch out to Ares. Because Ares also has a uh, flame body, so if it tries to hit us with a tackle or a tail whip, I mean a tail whip, I said tail whip because it's right there, tackle or a headbutt, there's a chance we can burn it and lower its attack. Alright, so we're faster, thankfully. Fire punch, one hit KO. Sea Biscuit grew to, uh, got 27, Ares grew 27. Okay, these Pokemon are going to be really hard to train up. I mean, uh, they're really good Pokemon, so it's. I, I, I can't complain. All right, let's see. Oh, sea Biscuit's just about to level up. And I'm pretty sure maybe, hopefully, I don't think after this battle. We'll see. 
I don't think Aries is going to level up, but that's okay. Because he, he'll be just about to level up. So Seabus gets 16. I mean 16, 6. 16 across the board was set for 14 in speed. That's not bad. Aries, level up? Alright, leveled up as well. Okay, so I want to get these guys up to like at least level 9. Uh, because we have a... Ooh, a Chimeco. Chimeco. I could not pronounce that name when I was little. Uh, let's go for a sing. Let's see if we can land a sing. We cannot land a sing. Rap? No. I mean, it's not as broken as in Gen 1, but still. Water gun. Oh, that does a pretty decent amount of damage. Alright, come on. Come on, see Biscuit. Biscuit, you can do it. Hit him with your water gun. Chimeco goes down. 84 experience. Okay. Let's see if we can get uh, squeeze in like another battle or two, and then we'll go heal up. A Schmurgle. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. We're going to Growl. And Smurgle's going to use Sketch. It's going to copy whatever attack we have that we just used. So it's going to copy Growl. <laughs> so now it's only attack is Growl. Which means I'm free to Water Gun. It can't do anything to me. It's going to Growl. My Water Gun damage is not going to go down. So that's actually really good. Um, oh, that'd be great if we could just run into Smurgles. That way we can go ahead and train and not worry about um, not worry about going to like, heal up and stuff. I can just do growl, water gun, water gun. Let's see what else we're gonna do. Another Smurgle! All right. Both girls. <gasps> no! Ah, I don't want to do that. I mean, it's not gonna be able to use it right away. It's gonna sketch it, and then it's gonna become water gun. I don't know why it, it flops around like that, but whatever. So, let's see, see Biscuit, level 7. And I'm pretty sure Ares is level 7 too. Learn Mist. Alright, so we can... If a Pokemon decides to set up on us, we can just go ahead and negate that. So let's go ahead, let's switch out, see Biscuit. Go for Ares, because I know Ares is going to take a while to level up. Unless we run into some really good Pokemon to battle against. Uh, Chimeco? What did he give us last time? I think he gave us 84 XP for, um, for C Biscuit. Fire Punch. Dang! Ares. It's not that serious. It's just a regular random Pokemon battle. Save it for the gym. Save it for the gym. Ooh, Chimeco gave us a lot of experience. I wish we could just keep running into them. Alright, let's, let's go ahead. I wanted to use Fire Punch! Maybe it'll still knock it out. Nope, nope, never mind. Oh, dang it. Oh, what am I what am I complaining about? We're still gonna be able to knock it out. We have fire punch. We have the punch of fire on our side. Boom. 54. Okay. So just a couple more battles and we'll be ready to go. <gasps> a ghastly, ghastly. Ares, let's go ahead, hit him with a fire punch. Fire! Boom. Ares is level eight. Let's get uh, let's keep rocking out with Ares. I like Ares. Oh man, he's so such a good Pokemon. We got another Chime Echo. Let's go ahead, Fire Punch. Maybe that'll knock it out. Dang! Ooh, critical hit. That was so close to getting a knockout. Surprisingly, we haven't run into any more Moltres. It was that first one that we ran into, and uh, like nothing else. We run into multiple Lanoon. So I guess maybe uh, you know what? I'm gonna go heal. Uh, I guess that Moltres was like the super rare encounter. I don't know. Maybe we got really unluckily lucky. Because I couldn't catch it. But it's like, wow, a Moltres. Wouldn't that that would have been insane to have a Moltres. I prefer Zapdos. And I think Zapdos... Z no, what am, what am I, I mean, I think. Zapdos is the best out of the three. You know what? Just hit, hit him with a thunder and... Bop, they're, they're done. Slowpoke. Slow... Look at Slowpoke, he's so so derpy. Let's go Smog, because I'm pretty sure Fire Punch won't do that much. I mean, maybe we can knock it out with a Fire Punch after this. Ooh, it got poisoned. All right. Gonna hit us with a Tackle. Uh, let's see, yeah. You know what? I'm pretty sure it'll knock it out now. Down it goes. 42. The answer to everything. The answer to life in the universe, 42. Go, Ares. All right, so let's go for another... There we go. Probably one more battle after this, yeah. And then uh, I don't want to get them up too high because we have two more encounters that we can get potentially uh, with Route 2 
and in the Viridian Forest. So if we guys, if we have our Pokemon too high level, if Aries and Sea Biscuit are like level 10 or 11, it's gonna be really hard to capture a level three Pokemon, as you can see, because I just keep knocking them out, like if nothing. So Aries is level nine. Oh nope, not the bag. And we still have a lot of Pokeballs, so so that's a that's a that's a plus. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. Another Ghastly. All right, all right. Water gun. Oh, come on! Oh, Seabiscuit, why? And how do you land a Hypnosis, but I can't land a Sing? I'm pretty sure they have the same... Um... Same accuracy. Seabiscuit, wake up! Fishy, wake up! Wake up! You're getting licked! Wake up! There we go. boy. Oh, uh, you know what? I might just... Ooh. Ooh, an Electric. I'm pretty sure it doesn't know any electric moves, so we can just go ahead and water gun away. Yeah, no stackle. Sweet. Alright, so we're gonna heal up. Let's see if we can take on Eddie once we get to level 9. Hopefully it won't take too much longer. I don't want these episodes to just be like filler, but some of them just might be. Or I might do some like grinding off screen. I promise I won't cheat. Fingers crossed, scouts on her. Alright, come on, come on, come on. That Moltres would be really nice right now. Come on, Water Gun. Alright. Water Gun again. I would go to the grass where we got Sea Biscuit, but you know, we're going to run into more uh, Sea Biscuits. And uh, that would not be an easy battle. It would be an uphill battle because we'd just be Water Gunning each other. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, I hope it doesn't go for another Hypnosis. That just make things even longer. So we got Sea Biscuit level 80. Level 80, why do I keep doing that? I keep adding zeros to everything. So no, it's level 8. The Lanoon. Come on, Z-Biscuit. Z-Biscuit. Boom! Critical hit! Alright. Alright, come on. Let's see what we can get. Let's see if we can... Where are all the pilot swines at, too? Like, we ran into, like, two or three of them, and then all of a sudden they're all gone now. They've been switched for Ghastlies. And down goes Ghastly. Sweet. 40. So I think maybe two, three battles at the most, and then we'll be set. See if we can get another another one hit KO with this water gun. Boom! See bus cut doing it. Okay, maybe not. I just looked at how much experience we got for that one and it didn't look like a lot. Water gun. Dang it! Headbutt. Water gun again. And Lanoon goes down. 54. Okay, if we battle another Lanoon, I think we'll be uh, set. I was gonna say set and fine at the same time. I said sign. Water gun. Oko. Oh my goodness, why? We should have just ran into another Lanoon. Nope, we had to run into a Whooper instead. Okay, come on, let's run away. Come on. There's the Pilo Swine! Where were you at earlier? Huh? Too busy getting your tusks done? Water gun, that should be a one-hit KO. Yep. Alright, so, dang, 91 experience, so if we could have just been running into those with Ares and, uh, Sea Biscuit, that would have been amazing. Alright, so there we go, we're both at level 9, uh, let's hurry this up. I don't want, I want to make progress. Alright, find the Pokemon Center, yada yada yada. We're gonna heal up our Pokemons, our Pokemans. But I keep, uh, I'm like, I, I'm pressing the A button, but I really wasn't, I was pressing the B button. Alright, so we're gonna go over here, we're gonna take on our... Our best friend, our rival, since we were a baby. Whoops, jumped over that ledge, didn't want to. And I think we'll go ahead, you know what, we'll see, we'll leave with Sea Biscuit. Who could this be? <laughs> hey Prince Charmander, you're off to the Pokemon League? Forget about it. Hey, you probably don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through without them. And by the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Why, in fact they did, Eddie. And I will show you how much stronger. <laughs> God Eddie, Sunflora. Ooh, okay, maybe we should have led with, uh, Ares. Do I go for this thing? Nah, 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 nah. I don't wanna, I don't wanna risk it. I don't know what some Flora can do. And I don't wanna find out with Lapras out. Go, Ares! Growth. Ooh. Boosting up that attack. Oh, no, that special attack. Even worse, I'm glad I did not stay in. Oh, I hit Ember again. I wanted Fire Punch. Oh, never mind. Okay. Hey, whatever works. Critical hit. Some Flora goes down. 
So we got C bus cut. Oh wow, they gave a lot of experience. Barboge. Oh no. We got a water ground type. Okay, so I'm definitely not leaving you in Aries because I don't know exactly what. I don't know what it can do. Let's see if we can sing. No, Seabiscuit. Oh no, please don't do this. No, it's lowering my accuracy. Okay, come on, water gun hit. Come on. Stop it! Water gun hit. Okay, good. Please, Barboach, please. No! We should have just been water gunning from the beginning. Oh yes, yeah, critical hit and it goes down. Alright, so both Ares and Seabiscuit put in work. So Seabiscuit to level 10. And we defeated Eddie, our first rival battle. Second rival battle. First one out in the open. Oh, you just lucked out. So we've got some De Niro. Oh, we didn't get anything for that battle. <laughs> I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. Hey, will you stop me for a battle? All right, so like uh, like Eddie said, the Pokemon League is that way, but we don't have any badges, so it would not make any sense to go that way. Uh, let's see. I know there's an item up here, so let's go ahead and see what it is. Tiny Mushroom. Yay! That's useless. I don't know what to use it for. I think you give it to collectors, and they can give you some cool stuff, but I never, I never could remember where they were at. So let's heal up again, because we're going to be heading out. Ooh, and you know what? I actually might want to buy uh, a couple antidotes and maybe a few more potions because you never know. The Nuzlocke, we could lose a member from getting poisoned and as we're trying to walk away to the Pokemon Center, we might lose them. So let's see, we have two. Let's get three. And then we'll get uh, we'll get an antidote. Uh, Paralyzed Heal, eh, not so much. We don't really need that. And I guess we can just get... Let's just get one more potion. And we'll call it a day. Wait, you know what? No, 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 wait. We have 200 bucks. We can get another Pokeball. So now we're at 15 again. Perfect. All right, let's go. We're off on an adventure. And there is a gym here in Viridian. But if you are familiar with the older Pokemon games, you know that this is the final gym that we go to, even though it's the first uh, town we're in. Well, now, I've had my coffee, and that's what I need to get going. Mm hmm? What is that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? Wait, wait, wait. Do you not see me with two Pokemon? I suppose I had better show you then. So the only reason why I gave this guy a voice and I'm like actually going through the dialogue is because you can't skip this part. You have to see it. This guy's going to teach us how to catch a Pokemon. It's going to take forever to go through the menus or not. So... Come on, speed up, speed up. There goes the Pokeball, uh, wiggle, 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 and he catches the Weedle. And this is a really dumb tutorial because it doesn't tell you how to catch a Pokemon. It just shows you how to use a Pokeball, but not how to catch a Pokemon. What you need to do is you need to... I don't want to hear what this guy's got to say. He's going to give us a TV that'll teach us some other game mechanics. But I will go ahead and teach you. Um, but it tells you, you know, how to use a Pokeball. It doesn't tell you that you need to uh, lower the uh, Pokemon's HP and that you need to uh, in inflict a status like sleep or paralysis in order to make it a lot easier. It just says, you know, throw a Pokemon and you might catch it. So, now we're on Route 2, which means it's encounter time. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Whoa! A Hariyama! Hariyama! That'd be, a good, that'd be good to have, because right now we have two really good uh, special attackers. Oh, Sing went to... Good! Good job, Seabiscuit. Atta boy. Landing the sing when we need it. So we w it would be good to, to have a, a physical attacker on the team. And uh, Hariyama's not bad. They're not bad for in-game and stuff. Let's go Aries. So since Hariyama's asleep, I can go ahead and use Smog and not worry about poisoning it. But hopefully I don't knock it out. I didn't even think about that. Uh, okay. Still fast asleep. Ah, uh, I want to throw a Pokeball because the sleep is going to wear off soon. Smog, 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 smog. You get smogged. My poison glass will kill you. Okay, it's asleep. Let's let's just go for it. Let's let's see if we get lucky. Go, Pokeball. 
catch me a Harry Yama. Yeah, we got Harry Yama. All right, so now we got three. I think we might leave it at that for now until we run into something probably even better. <clears throat> As you notice, like when we caught Lapras, it gave us the Pokedex entry, but with Hariyama it didn't because Hariyama is not in the Kanto desk. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna name him D's. Where are they at? No, it's not. It's not what I'm. What you guys might think it is. Stop it. <laughs> It's, uh, we're gonna nickname Hariyama D's hands. You know, catch these hands. They're gonna do work. Because look at his hands. His palms are huge. Alright, so you know what? Ah, uh, I don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center, but... Oh, you know what? No, no, you know what? Let's, um... Let's see. Maybe we might get something even better in Viridian Force. Let's see. We might just end it off here, too. I'm sorry, guys. I probably should have done the grinding off-screen. But... Hey, what are you going to do? You, you learn from experience. Let's go ahead. Ooh, an item. Oh, all right. Never mind. First encounter, what do we get? <gasps> a bay leaf! Oh, I want it. I want it. I want it. Imagine we would have a grass, a fire, and a water type Pokemon. That is amazing. Uh, sing. Sing us a song. Sing. Sing a song. Wow, nose reflect. Okay. Sing a song. Come on. It probably knows Razor Leaf by now, too, so we definitely want to sing. The sound sound, that sing sounds really weird. Okay, so we got Bay Leaf. Um, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do! Because Magmar can't do anything. Smog is super effective. But I think Poison goes off a special... Uh, not special attack. Uh, Smog goes off a regular attack, because Poison is physical in this generation. Um... Oh, you know what? And it raises defense. You know what? Let's go. Let's go out in Aries. Come on, Aries. Please stay asleep. I'm pretty sure Bayleaf is gonna stay asleep. Okay. So it raises defense. Smog is a physical attack. It's not stab. It is super effective. So if anything, it'll get us to the red or pretty close to it. <laughs> or not at all. <laughs> all right. There's another. Ah, oh, the reflect wore off though. Oh, then why did I do it? Oh, Bayleaf, live! Live! Woo! Bayleaf's still fast asleep. Okay, let's go ahead. Um, and starter Pokemon kind of have... Um, their catch rate is a little high. So, oh, even with the sleep, it's going to be hard to catch it. No! And it does no Razor Leaf. Dang! Alright then, you know what? We're going to just have to get lucky. We're gonna have to get lucky and hopefully one of these Pokeballs catches our Bayleaf. I've already got the nickname and everything too. No, Bayleaf, please! Bayleaf, why? Baby! I like Bayleaf in the anime. Um, Ash's Bayleaf. I'm pretty sure it was a girl and it was really adorable. It was that clingy girlfriend. <laughs> no! Come on! Lower my attack. Which means I could possibly use Smog again. But the thing is, Smog has a chance to poison. And if I get it to the red, the poison will knock it out. If not, that same turn or the next turn. Two, three. We got Bayleaf. Okay, sorry, Hariyama. <laughs> you're getting, you're getting, Nick, you're getting axed out of the party. So we got Bayleaf. And uh, Bayleaf won't be able to evolve until we get that national deck. So Bayleaf's here to stay, guys. Uh, so my nickname for Bayleaf is going to be... I really wish I could knew I knew the select button on this. I got to look at the control configuration. Oops, oops! <laughs> I put too many, too many spaces. Uh, I wonder if it'll hold, it'll fiddle, blah, 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 if it'll all fit. Uh, you know what? It won't fit unless I keep it as one word. Da, 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 da. So we have Bayleaf, and Bayleaf looks like an Apatosaurus. And since it's a boy, we're gonna name Bayleaf. Littlefoot. That lamp before time reference. Okay, let's get this item. <gasps> a Master Ball! We just got a Master Ball! Are you kidding me? That's amazing! Okay. I, 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 I can't even express how happy I am. Because if we run into a really good Pokemon as our first encounter, 
We don't have to worry about anything. We can just throw it. So if we run into a Mewtwo, if we run into a Charizard, or, or like an Articuno or a Zapdos, an Entei, we can run into a Lugia or a Ho-Oh. There's so many Pokemon that we can run into that that'll come in handy. Bah. <laughs> I just got chills. I moved like the whole camera and everything. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. That is amazing. Normally, that's a Pokeball there, too, so that's why I kind of wanted to go for it. I did not think that we were going to get a Master Ball. Okay, but, um, let's hold it. I'm so... I, I can't even talk. <laughs> okay, so let's head on back to Viridian. We're going to heal up, and then in the next episode, guys, uh, we're going to we're gonna cut this one off, because I think it's running a little long and a little too long. Um, we'll go ahead. We're going to take our three Pokemon. We're going to take Littlefoot. We're going to take uh, Sea Biscuit and Ares, and we're going to track... Track? We're going to trek on through the Viridian Forest and hopefully get to Pewter. And um, who knows, maybe we, we might even take on Brock. But we'll have to see and uh, check on that in the next episode. As I'm going ahead and I'm going to deposit um, these hands into the PC, I want to thank you guys for coming out for the second episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, leave a comment. Who are you most excited that it has been added to our party? Do you, who's your favorite party member right now? Who do you think is going to be the MVP of this entire LP so far? Um, and subscribe so that way you're alerted when we have new content such as uh, the next episode of Fire Red. We also have Pokken coming onto the channel and um, some other things like uh, TCG openings. We had our Mew and Celebi opening recently. So uh, go ahead and check that out. Uh, thank you once again, guys. Take care, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!